So recently some information has been released about an investigation that took place all the way back in May of 2017. And it's believed that now some people have been sentenced in relation to this investigation. But what I wanted to do was firstly go over the information surrounding this case and then we'll take a look into the most recent updates that have came out. And of course, if you've seen the title of this video, then you'll know that drill rapper M Loose from MPK had also received a jail sentence. But with saying that, all isn't what it seems in regards to his sentence. So you'll just have to bear that one in mind until we get to the update. So on Saturday, the 13th of May 2017, around 10.30 p.m., 18-year-old Jerome Ricardo Gomez had left a music event in Hertford Road, Enfield, with a group of friends when out of nowhere they would go on to be attacked. You see, after the event had been closed down, Jerome and 10 of his friends would start to make their way back home. Seven of them would continue to walk towards a nearby bus stop, but Jerome and two others went back to the venue to request a refund on their entry fee because, of course, the event had closed earlier than expected. Back over to the seven at the bus stop though, and they had been surrounded by a large group wearing masks and dark clothing who would subsequently try to rob them, taking their bags and going through their pockets. Now if seven people are potentially getting robbed here, we must be talking about a very large group. Either way, members of the Seven would try to resist and move away when out of nowhere the attackers would show that some of them were carrying large knives. It would be at this point Jerome and two of his friends would be alerted as to what was happening, so they rushed over to their friends. Upon doing so, the violence would escalate and fistfights began as the group tried to defend themselves. As the violence intensified, some of the group managed to run away. Joan remained trying to protect himself from attackers with one of the victims running off but was kicked, punched and stabbed with a knife where his injuries were believed to be non-life threatening. There was another victim as well who was unconnected to the group and they'd got in the way of an attack intended for Joan and they received a knife injury to their arm. Again, it's believed their injuries were non-life threatening. For Joan though, he would go on to be stabbed in the chest. Emergency services would arrive a short while later and it's thought that he was still alive at this point, but roughly one hour after being rushed to hospital, he would sadly go on to be pronounced dead. But after a long investigation, recently various people have gone on to be sentenced in relation to this incident. Rayshaw Collins was sentenced to seven years and six months after pleading guilty to manslaughter, conspiracy to commit robbery, grievous bodily harm and possession of a blade. Thierry Adusi was sentenced to 18 months imprisonment after pleading guilty to violent disorder. Mark Carroll aka M. Luce from MPK was sentenced to 21 months imprisonment after pleading guilty to violent disorder. Dean Townsend was sentenced to 21 months imprisonment after pleading guilty to violent disorder and Ives Kembengeli was sentenced to a 12 month detention training order. But referring back to the start of the video where I said all oh, isn't what it seems, the reason I said this is because some, if not all, of the people who were given the violent disorder charges have since been released from jail due to them already serving their sentences. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, this is more than likely due to them getting sentenced a little while back. You see, even though the news has only just came out over the past couple of days, M. Lewis, I'm pretty sure, has been out of jail for about two months now, so he more than likely received his sentence quite a while back and has served his time and then I believe Ray Sean Collins was sentenced recently because he was hit with the manslaughter charges these are a lot more serious but because this is the same incident police have obviously made it look like they've all been sentenced right now so again M Luce is out of jail but the news is only reporting as of the past couple of days, that he's only just been sentenced. But give the video a like for more crime related content like this, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Hancho, and I'll see you in the next one.